Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Warren Peace and welcome to Ammo. I've been a longtime DJ and resident at the top nightclubs here in Las Vegas and this is where I give fellow DJs and producers ammo for the club. The clip you saw before this was me setting up at Dre's Beach Club. I set up via HID mode with Serato DJ. Now I use Serato DJ over Scratch Live simply because Serato DJ is new, Scratch Live is old, and you can do so much more in Serato DJ. I set up HID mode and let me show you that. So when I set up HID mode, I use a DJM 900 mixer. Um, I plug directly into the mixer with a USB cable via the Serato club kit. Uh, you find out information about that on Serato and I'll give you a link about it below. I use CD, two CDJs, CDJ1 and CD, CDJ2. Sometimes I use three CDJs, but for the most part, I use two CDJs. Now, when I connect to the setup, when I connect to the mixer, I basically plug the USB right into the USB right on top of the 900 mixer. I take my cable plug directly into the, my computer on the side. It pops up. Now, when that pops up, you'll get a dialog on the computer that basically talks about the interface between the mixer and the computer. I usually just move that out of the way because it's pretty standard. If you want to mess with it, you can. Now, after I do that, I connect the CDJs 1 and CDJ2 via this Amazon hub because my computer only has three ports. I connect the CDJs via the Amazon port right here. Now, when that happens, on the CDJs, it's going to ask you something. It's going to tell you basically that you connected via USB and you connected MIDI and you have to use this dial to connect to CDJ1 and use this dial right here to connect to CDJ2. Now it gives you the option to use more than one deck. If you're using more than one deck, this is where you connect the deck you want to. But I'm using CDJ2, so I just connect to CDJ2 just like that. Now after that's set up, I basically connect my SP1, DGJ SP1, which is the MIDI controller that I use. It's incredible. I connect that to my other port here on the side of the computer, right here, and boom, it pops up. Now, when you have all of that set up, everything is in motion. You can use this dial to flow through tracks and select tracks. You can now go through here and select tracks. Let me show you that. So when you go through here, you can select the track like this, select the track. That's one of the benefits of this setup. The other benefits or advantages of this setup are the SV1 gives you the convenient and fast control over most of the key features in Serato DJ. The Serato Club Kit gives you a fast connection and no messy, confusing wiring when you're walking into the club. The C I use CDJs over turntables because the CDJs give you more control and allow you to do a lot more tricks and stuff over to turntables. I'll get into that later. I'm not trying to cause a fight between people who use turntables and CDJs. If you only use turntables and you want to watch these tips and tutorials on ammo, uh, you can use turntables, but you might have to MIDI map a MIDI controller to you do some of the tricks. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Uh, if you did, please like the video and subscribe to this channel. I will provide links below for any of the equipment and stuff I used in the clip and talked about in the clip. Um, also, feel free to ask me any questions via email or comments below. Follow me on all social media channels at Warren702. And I look forward to bringing you another video soon and giving you more ammo for the club. Thanks. Peace. Yeah.